Hi guys, a very good morning to all of you. I am Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. I welcome you all in this session of Morning Tales for October 17, 2020. I hope that you all are doing very well. And before starting this video, those who are come, to, those who have come for the first time on this channel, let me introduce myself to them. So I have done my graduation from Lakshmi Bai College of Delhi University, and then I have pursued my masters in literature from IGNU University and I have been a mentor of current affairs for more than one year. So uh, here my uh, introduction ends and I would like you to uh, introduce with the morning days series. So in this series I will be first introducing with the topics that we are going to discuss uh, in the table of contents and then we will be discussing each and every question in detail. So let's move on to the table of contents but before that I would like you guys to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification so that whenever we come live or we upload any kind of new videos you get the instant notification through this bell icon. Apart from this you can also join our telegram group. So on this telegram group, what we do, we share the free quizzes as well as we resolve the queries of students. So you can join this group from the link given below in the description box. So let's start our video with the table of contents. So here the first news is National Authority for Recycling of Ships. So this authority has been uh, recently set up or we can say uh, an already existing uh, organization or agency has been given the name which is national authority for recycling of ship so this is very intriguing i know and we will be discussing it in detail in the first question itself then we will be discussing about the new initiative launched by ministry of women and child development my path my right project then zozila tunnel which is estimated or claimed to be asia's longest tunnel road the what is it and what are the details surrounding it that you should mug up in order to clear examination. So those are the things that we will be discussing in the third question. Then we have IRDAI's Saral Jeevan Bima Yojana. This is very important. Why? Because it is the regulator of insurance industry in India and it has launched this Bima. So this is why it is very important. Then we have two obituaries. Obituaries are the uh, things that we need to remember about those who have passed away. Why do we need to remember these things? The reason is that the questions from famous personalities have been asked in the examination before. Therefore, uh, those who are very eminent and uh, famous personalities, those who have passed away recently are very important for us to remember. Now we have discussed the table of content and we will be discussing the first question itself. So what is the first question? Who is the Director General of Shipping in India? Now guys you would be wondering that in the table of contents I have introduced with the National uh, Authority for Recycling of ship Shipping and now I am asking you about the Director General of Shipping. So let's first discuss this answer and then I will link both the things. So what is the answer? The answer is Amita Kumar. So he is the Director General of Shipping in India. Now recently the central government has made mandatory or has notified that this Director General of Shipping will also be called as National Authority for Recycling of Shipping. Now what will the function of this Director General of Shipping would be then? Now, the Director General of Shipping would, be, would also be looking into the recycling of shipping. Uh, uh, this director general will also be looking into the functioning and the manner in which the ships are being recycled. Are they environment friendly or not? So these are the things that DG of shipping will be looking at under the National Authority for Recycling of Ships. Do remember this thing. This is very important and uh, what would be the function of this National Authority for Recycling of Shipping? First of all, to look at the manner in which the shipping, uh, recycling of shipping is being done. Uh, is it environment free, friendly or not? That is the first function and secondly, to ensure the working environment for the staff, for those who are engaged in recycling of ship. 
so these are the two functions that this authority will be looking at and dg will be or dj is anita kumar so he is the head of this or authority as well so here this question ends and my question begins so who is the minister of shipping you have to tell me in the comment section below because as i say that being the current affairs student it is very relevant and very important for you guys to know who are the minister of um, various ministries who are the cabinet minister as well as the background information of the static background information of the questions being discussed so that is why you have to tell me that who is the minister of shipping in the comment section below now comes our second question which is which of the following organization has partnered with minister uh, minister of, of for women and child development and textile who is it it is smriti iran for my pad my rights project so let's discuss the answer of this question first and then we will be discussing about this project in detail so what is the answer is it an academy nab foundation jeshri industries both a and b or both b and c so the answer to this question is option e both b and c that is nab foundation jeshri industries in association with nabard have partnered with ministry of women and child development in order to launch this my pad my rights campaign now what is this campaign all about pad is the sanitary napkin so from here itself uh, here it is very obvious that the uh, campaign is to create awareness among women about menstrual hygiene so what is the purpose and the second purpose is to empower women by generating employment for them so this is the two pronged uh, objectives that this project aim to do aim to achieve first is to create awareness and second is to generate employment now what kind of employment will be generated under the project very easy the employment related to manufacturing of low cost sanitary napkins now guys you would be amazed to know that this jashri industries the ceo of this jashri industries is arunachalam murugan muruganandam and who is this he is the actual padman on which akshay kumar's movie has been uh, has been formed so he has said he has announced that in all the districts and uts of india there would be centers this jashri industries would be setting up centers in order to train women in manufacturing low cost sanitary napkins so in this manner the employment will be generated under this project i hope that it is very clear and it is very easy for us to remember because of this name pad is sanitary napkin therefore the purpose is to create awareness and to create employment and through employment empowering women so this is the uh, whole crux of this news and we have discussed all the relevant points from the examination point of view now this is our third question so what is the third question say propose gozila tunnel which is also estimated to be the asia's longest tunnel road will provide all your connectivity between dash and dash so tunnel road is being constructed so there would be two regions which uh, are being connected through this tunnel road so what are those region which regions are those so the answer is shrinagar and leh now guys in order to make it simple and in order to make it interesting i have uh, i have clicked the picture i have taken a picture in the next slide so this is shrinagar this is leh and this is kargil so this is the overall arc that the zozila tunnel is going to uh, cover now what is the importance of this zozila uh, tunnel now you need to remember this thing that zozila pass is in himalaya and in himalayan region and it is at a very greater height of about 11000 feet above the sea level now this is a very basic information you don't need to remember you are not required to remember this thing but the reason is that you have to understand why is this tunnel being developed so the reason is that 
due to its height heavy and heavy snowfall it becomes very difficult to travel from srinagar to leh from jammu kashmir to ladakh in the winters because of that heavy rainfall that is why this tunnel road is being developed so that the traveling can be made easy so that is the main purpose of this road in order to make traveling easy from srinagar to leh and in between it will be connected with kargil and dras it will provide connectivity to kargil and dras regions so this is the main purpose of zozila tunnel and you have to remember this thing that zozila pass is in himalayas it is the static portion that you have to remember and we have discussed everything about this road tunnel now this road tunnel is being built by ministry of road and highways so you have to tell me who is the minister of road transport and highways in the comment section below and here comes our next question which is what is the minimum sum assured in the saral jeevan beam of irdar first of all what is the full form of irdar do you guys know it it is insurance regulatory development authority of india do remember the full form as well because it is the apex organization it is the regulator of insurance industry in india now it has launched this saral bima saral jeevan bima so what is saral easy life insurance now i hope that you can easily understand the purpose of this insurance first of all to provide the life insurance coverage easily to the people and secondly to reduce compliance and reduce complex formalities for the uh, customers who have who want to enroll who want to avail the benefit of this insurance scheme so this is the very basic purpose of this insurance scheme now what is the minimum sum assured so the minimum sum assured is rupees 5 lakh and the maximum sum assured is rupees 25 lakhs now you would be thinking that why is it important for us to remember even the sum assured the minimum and maximum sum assured of an insurance policy when there are uh, many insurance policies being launched every new day so why do we need to remember this thing the reason is that it has been launched by irda and that is why it is important and that is why you have to remember each and every detail regarding this uh, bima policy so first detail is this now second detail is that this amount is extendable so the upper limit is extendable and it depends upon the insurance company whether it wants to extend it or not and this is the very basic information that i wanted to tell now apart from this who would be eligible for this uh, insurance those who are between 18 to 65 this is the minimum age limit minimum and maximum age limit apart from this what is the tenure of this life insurance 5 to 40 years so these are the three facts that you have to mug up about this scheme and here this question also ends and my question again for you is who is the chief of irdai you have to tell me in the comment section below guys i have seen that uh, the comments in the comment section have been reduced but i would like you to comment the answers because it will help you in remembering the questions better so do it for your own sake you will help in remembering questions as well as the answers that you have given in the comment section better now comes our next question which is about the obituary so who among the following is the first indian oscar award winner recently this person has passed on so that is why this question is here now who is this from the name itself you can easily understand that out of these options it is going to be a woman so sandeep kosla cannot be the answer then masal gupta is also can uh, cannot also be the answer so out of these three the right answer is bhanu athia she is the first Uh, Oscar winner of India of either gender, so she is the first. Apart from this, what is the other fact that you need to remember about Bhanu? The fact is that she got the Oscar for a film Gandhi, the film named as Gandhi, which was released in nineteen eighty three. So she is the costume designer. That's the main main important point. That she is 
costume designer and she got the oscar for ganini that's all that we need to remember about this news and we will be quickly moving on to the next question so the next question is with which set of literature was akitam achutan nambutri related to now this person is very important why because in 2019 he received the highest literary honor in india which is gyanpeeth award that is why he has been in the news for past one day past one year so you have to remember this thing that from which sect of literature does he belong to is he a kannada dramatist or a malayalam poem poet not poetry telugu novelist marathi critic odia poet or novelist so guys can you make a guess who a who is he from the options okay let me resolve this for you so he is the malayalam poet do remember this thing this question can be asked in the examination so he is the malayalam poet and he is also the latest receiver of gyanpeeth award for 2020 gyanpeeth has not been given that is why this is very important and here the lecture for today comes to an end i hope that you have really liked it and if you have then do comment the answers that i have asked you for and do like this video thank you